I want to thank you for joining me once again out here in the cold, dusty shop. Today, I have one gigantic piece of steel. It is a piece of 1084. It is a piece of a quarter inch thick 1084 from the New Jersey Steel Baron. I'm very excited to have this piece of steel. It is giant, at least for me. I don't usually buy massive pieces of steel, but this time I did because I wanted to make some things that uh, you can't really make if you don't have really big pieces of steel. I'm gonna bring you over here. It's sitting on my anvil. That is a big piece of steel, and these are some stencils that I have cut out. So I always wanted to make something that was a full tang tomahawk or a full, full tang hatchet, and I am just really excited. I, I drew these up the other night, I put them on some cardboard, and I cut them out. So, they're perfect stencils. So I'm gonna get these traced, and then I'm going to fire up the plasma cutter, and I am going to cut these out. Now the thing about plasma cutting, the thing about plasma cutting is you have to be careful. You wanna leave a little extra meat on the bone because I will have to grind that off um, just because of how hot the plasma cutter gets the steel. I mean, it gets it to, well, it, it melts it, it's molten and that does not make for a good edge or a tough knife and so you have to grind off anything that comes into contact with that really hot area but otherwise plasma cutting works wonderfully when cutting out pieces like this so I'm going to trace these and then I'm going to start up the plasma cutter
have the Soul Survivor here all cleaned up. The one thing though is that the handle is a little thin back here. Now the stock that I'm making this knife out of is plenty thick, so I want this knife to be fairly well balanced after I grind in the bevels, so I need to taper the tang. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to forge this handle tang out just a little bit, and that will help me establish kind of a taper in the tang, as well as get this to the dimensions that I want it to be, at which point I can then proceed to grind, drill, and heat treat this. So, I'm just going to forge out this handle real quick. And also warm up the shop a little bit, because right now it is pretty chilly in here. Thermal cycling has been completed on the Soul Survivor. The handle is right where I want it. It's now time to grind blades and drill holes in the tangs. Let's go ahead and get grinding, get some drilling done, then it'll be time to heat treat. the tangs have been drilled. I'm very excited to say that these are now ready to heat treat. I will grind the bevels back just a little bit further after the heat treat. I'm going to leave the bevels nice and uh, thick to avoid any kind of warpage during the quench. And I am going to do some clay on the Soul Survivor so that we get a, uh, a nice hamone here. It should be very doable on the 1080. I've always wanted to experiment with this specific kind of 1084 to see how well we can get it to Hamon. So I'm going to try a Hamon on this one. These guys, I'm not doing any Hamones. Um, I want these to be fairly through hardened, so I'm not going to do any kind of partial hardening just because I don't want to risk any bending in the tangs when these get used. So it's not the end of the world if the very end of the tank back here doesn't get hardened. It doesn't see a lot of uh, 
a lot of shock absorption. But this part, this part of the tang, really needs to be hardened and then tempered back. So, it's not the end of the world if the back end where your handle goes isn't super hard. And even this won't be super hard, it'll be partially hardened, I'll harden it all the way, temper it back, draw it back with the torch so that it's really tough in here. So I'm gonna start putting some clay on this and then it will be time to put these all in the heat treat oven. treating oven is up to temperature so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the first hatchet in Put the blade rack back in. These are out of the temper. They are nice and hard. So, that is where I'm going to call this episode. The heat treatment is done on all three of these pieces. I'm really excited to see how the Hamone on the Soul Survivor looks. So, I'm really excited to see these done. Now, I just have to decide what hand materials I want to put on each one. So, I am going to spend some time thinking about that. Uh, thank you for watching me make uh, some really awesome full tang hatchets and that soul survivor i'm really excited to get that ground and take a look and see exactly how that hamone looks really excited to get these all finished up next episode is going to be getting all three totally finished getting the handles on getting them looking beautiful so i want to thank you for continuing to watch me be a wild man out here in the shop and if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe it really helps me build things and well build things so I'm very excited to continue making all of these awesome dusty projects out here in the shop. If you want to keep a, an eye on everything that I make, you can follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook down below. So I want to thank you uh, one last time. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will catch you on the next episode of Let's Make a Knife, where we make a finish, two full tang hatchets, and one sole survivor.